It's a quite a nice little setting, isn't it? It's lovely. Angel has a new idea to bring the magic of the chateau outdoors and create a wonderfully luxurious glamping site. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately for Dick, Angel's thinking big. I'd like to buy another dome, um, not for the moat. I'm not doing that again. No, I know, I know. I'm not asking you to. I'm not yeah, asking yeah. you to. But I, I just think having another dome would mean that we could have maybe a family stay in it and we would sell them. Like, you know, for weddings, people are always asking, is there more accommodation? So what I was doing, I came out to measure where we're going to put our barbecue area. Right. Yeah, but you want to put a dome up here somewhere. And a barbecue area. <laughs> Come with me. <laughs> Angel's plan is to use the land behind the coach house as the new glamping site, with an outside kitchen, bathroom, barbecue, and, if Dick agrees, another dome to complement the one on the water. How big a dome do you want? Like, huge. <laughs> no, if we go from... That's five metre diameter. If you go to seven metres, you get a massive amount more sort right, of space okay. in it. I will show you what seven metres looks like. That's quite big. That's perfect. Keep moving around. Keep walking all the way to the edge. Remember, if they're going to, we're going to have the floating dome, they're yeah. going to want to get to there. Yeah. Maybe we've got to get rid of some of the bits here. But this... it's, not, it's not bits, darling. They're called trees. OK. You get the point. Yeah. Seven metres is big. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the luxury glamping site on the other side of the moat has to be built quickly. Very quickly. Because not only has Angel already advertised it, it's already fully booked for the summer. We've only got six weeks, might be eight, to our first paid booking. I've really, really got to get a move on. To make matters worse, they're also hosting a three-day wedding just before their deadline. Just can't live that that pressure, that risk. I, I, I'm over it. <laughs> I need things to happen um, in a timely manner, otherwise I'm going to have a heart attack. <laughs> if it doesn't work, we're so in the poop. <laughs> but within days, their strict six-week building plan is already behind schedule. The weather's against us, but it looks like it's going to be like this for the next week. No matter how bad the conditions, work must continue. Their guests are expecting a luxurious glamping experience. Finally, there's a break in the weather, and ex-army officer Dick Strawbridge gathers his troops together. Right, we need ropes thrown over the top. That's the first thing. The new seven-metre dome has arrived, and the framework is up, but they still need to pull on the 57-kilo cover. Let's just set up on stage first. Right, we're going to be opening it out and then pulling this side over it. Anybody get any other suggestions? Anybody, anybody agree or think anything? Has anybody any idea what I'm talking about? Have you got any weight there, Steve? Right, OK, we're up. Pivoting around, Steve's pivoting around them. Right, set it down. Two, three, up. And again, two, three, up. OK, pulling them up. Your dad has to pull some more, darling. Pull, Dad, like properly pull. All right. Whew! That's looking better than it was. I'm a bit having tea now. Ready for tea? Their guests are due in less than a month, and though the dome is up at last, it's still a blank canvas. I like the lightness in here. That extra two metres has made the world a difference in here. This, this dome is huge, but I'm going to fill it. <laughs> While Dick's busy clearing the ground for a hot tub, Steve, the builder, is installing a new bathroom. It's nice when it's not raining here. <laughs> we are well on it. The floor's not looking too bad. We've got um, electricity and water being connected up. Still more to do with each of those. Start doing a list of things and you run out of fingers, which is never a good sign, but um, we'll get there. I hear a cuckoo, which means it's spring has sprung, which 
Better get a bloody move on. <laughs> as soon as the wedding weekend is over, Dick and Angel race back to the glamping site. They now have just 24 hours before their first guests arrive. That's a barbecue capability, which is all that sort of we need to have. While Dick works outside on the bespoke barbecue, Angel prepares the inside of the dome. It is actually the hottest day of the year today. <laughs> they had a lovely wedding yesterday. I mean, Dick and I thoroughly enjoyed ourselves. And I've got to say, it felt like a day off yesterday. <laughs> Even though it was nearly a 20-hour day, the kids are home tomorrow. And we've got guests arriving tomorrow as well. And there's a hell of a lot to do. The kitchen's not finished. Dick's finishing off the uh, barbecue. Furniture hasn't arrived. Um, well, some of it has, some of it hasn't. I don't love having things this close to the wire. It's going to be a really long night, a really long night. No matter how tired they are, Dick and Angel won't stop until everything is ready. I think Angel is very aware the clock is ticking, the guests are coming, and she always wants to do more than is actually physically possible in the time. She knows that she wants it to be perfect, and that's all she's got everyone to accept. Next day, it's all hands on deck as the guests are due at any moment. All functions are happening, yes. So, you can think of anything you've got electricity, you've got, um, you've got the water, the loos are flushing. As always, Angel's determined that everything's perfect, even down to the temperature of the water in the hot tub. You need to fall asleep in here with the fire going. Somebody throws an onion and a carrot in there, or soup. <laughs> With just minutes to spare, the chateau's new glamping site is finally ready for guests. This whole project has felt a little bit different because I've always tried to take the outside inside into the house, you know, with the ivy and the wild foliage. And this time we're, we're doing it the other way around. So you've got your, your inside, outside. <laughs> and it's a first, it's a first for me, definitely. I think it's worked. I really, really love it. It's light, it's airy, it has bits of the chateau. I mean, it has this from the attic. It's had things that have been handmade. We've enjoyed doing this. I, I think we have. <laughs> I'll know in a month's time when, when I can, I think, clearly again. As the guests arrive, all Dick and Angel can do now is hope they're impressed. I'm Dick. I'm Dick. Good to see me. <laughs> I, I, I think it delights it. They were really excited. Um, you just didn't know how they were going to receive it, really. You, you asked off. You've got day off tomorrow. <laughs> no, I haven't. <laughs> No, I haven't. She said that and <laughs> when she lies her ears wiggle. I can tell when she's telling fibs. Well done. Yeah. This is why we work as a team, because um, <laughs> Angela makes it happen and I just have to say, yes, darling. 
Ah, I don't think we'll be. We're getting there.